In this video, I'm going to talk about actions function within Microsoft Power Automate. Now, actions function return an actions output at runtime or values from other JSON's name and value pair. Now, the action function returns output as a string. It expects a parameter, an input parameter, which is specifically an action name. So if you see the syntax over here, the syntax states actions and in single quotes the action name now the basic use case for actions method is you know it is used to get an error message uh, within an action so there are some related function with regards to action action body action outputs now this is not uh, directly related to the actions method but this is somewhat different okay but it bears the same name right action action body action output but in this example we are just going to talk about actions method so let's jump into the screen now here i have a simple power automate flow which has a trigger which is manually trigger then second we have a compose action which is division by zero so it will purposefully uh, generate in an exception so it's i'm dividing the number thousand but zero okay so this will generate an error uh, and then i will send out an email now in order for an email to execute i need to configure the run after and then i've selected whether it is successful failed skipped or timed out i want this email to be sent okay now in the email first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, write a, an expression and here I will type actions now actions if i put a single quotes then i need to specify the uh, the action element so this text is dev error so whatever is your text you just need to put it over there so i just put dev error and i click on save now i'll try to save this flow and i will do a test run and see what the actions method returns as a json value so i click on manually trigger a flow and i'll run the flow now once the flow is run i should receive an email now i've received an email over here now here it has given me a nice json with the error okay now i'll copy this and in the JSON Weaver, I'll just paste this just to see how the JSON is placed. Now, if you see, the first element uh, has client keywords and second element has an error. Now, these are some of the metadata which comes with that JSON, but we are interested morely in error and this one, error message. So, if you see here, this is the one which we are currently interested in, error and then the error message. So, the hierarchy is like you go from error and then you go to message to extract those message now there are multiple ways to extract the exact error message if you can go in the flow then here i'll just edit this flow and here uh, maybe i'll put this within here and i'll write in method we say actions and the hierarchy which we have selected let me go through it it says error message okay so here if i come here i write an expression as the actions and then single quotes of uh, dev error which will remain as it is and error message so i can put a question mark and then say there are multiple ways to write this expression so maybe i will just put error and again question mark single quotes and message and let's see whether this works or not so save this so what essentially we are doing is we are extracting the exact error message from the json we don't want all the fluffs which comes with the json we just want to pinpoint to the exact error message which has triggered this particular email to be sent so I test this. This is a manual testing. So I'll run the flow. And the flow is run. Let me see if I receive an email. 
and I have received an email and if you see here this one is an exact error message okay so this is a complete JSON but this is the exact error message so what we have done we have extracted the JSON and we pass through the JSON and then we have nailed down to error and then to the message as you see over here from here error to the message and that's how you can uh, get the uh, error message exactly pinned down so that's it folks this is all about actions method action method returns and actions output at runtime or values from other json name and value pair thanks for watching